My name is Banu Patibandla. I am a pulmonologist at Peace Health Southwest Medical Center. I am the director for the lung nodule and thoracic oncology program here. A lung nodule is often referred to as a tiny spot in your lung and is usually diagnosed on chest imaging, mostly on the CT scans. A lung nodule is nothing but a small growth in your lung and uh, it is less than 3 centimeters. If the growth is more than 3 centimeters, it is referred to as mass. The number one reason why we care about the lung nodules is because some of these nodules could be cancer or they may have a risk of becoming cancer over a period of time if they're not addressed properly. The striking fact about the lung cancer is it is the number one cause of cancer-related death in the United States. It kills more people every year than breast, prostate and colon cancer combined. Good news is not all the nodules are cancer. So if the nodule is not a cancer, what can that be? The possibilities of that could be multiple. They're broadly categorized into infection etiologies such as pneumonia or they could be because of certain inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or they may be just a scar from old infection. Determining which nodules are cancerous or can become cancerous requires a careful and systematic approach. This usually begins with a detailed history and physical examination. Some of the main questions that we ask patients when we see with lung nodules are how old is the patient and we want to know what their smoking history is. We also want to know if anybody in their family has history of lung cancer. Another important piece of information is if the patients themselves have any history of lung cancer. In addition to this detailed history and physical, another important aspect that goes into determining the risk of lung nodule being a cancer involves carefully reviewing the chest imaging. And uh, again, some of the important things that we focus here while reviewing the chest imaging are what's the size of the nodule and how is the nodule looking? Is the nodule solid completely or is it subsolid? And how are the borders looking? Are the borders of the nodule round or the borders speculated, which often is referred to as having a spiky appearance? The general rule of thumb is the bigger the nodule and if the nodule is speculated, it has a higher risk of becoming a cancer. So here is a CT scan of a patient that we are looking at and uh, we are looking at uh, the right lung here and uh, if you can see here, there is this round abnormal growth in the right middle lung. Another important piece of information which is often overlooked is if there were any x-rays or CT scans from before. This is important because if there were scans from before, we need to know if the nodule was there before if it was there, has it grown in size or stayed the same? The growth of the nodule gives us valuable information on its risk of being a cancer. If we think that uh, your nodule could be cancer or can become cancer, we usually recommend one of three uh, approaches. The first one is watchful waiting. We would recommend getting a follow-up CT scan in three or six or nine months, depending upon the risk of the nodule that information would give us an idea more to understand the risk of your nodule. And the second step is biopsying the nodule. The biopsy can be done by different modalities and all these modalities are offered at our institute. And uh, that includes outpatient advanced minimally invasive procedures such as endobronchial ultrasound and navigational bronchoscopy. And the third approach is Sometimes when we look at a nodule and when we see a patient who has high risk features, it screams like a cancer. Then we directly take them to the surgery if it seems to be an early stage cancer. And our center also offers minimally invasive video assisted thoracoscopic surgery to facilitate that. Our program offers expedited and comprehensive care that is convenient and personalized to the patients with lung nodules. We use most up to date evidence based guidelines and we also have experts from all the specialities that we need to provide comprehensive lung cancer care. And we run tumor board every other week wherein all the specialists come together to discuss new lung nodule cases or thoracic cancer cases. This true multidisciplinary approach ensures that we are providing comprehensive diagnosis and also targeted treatment to the patients with lung nodules. 
So to sum it up all, we have an exceptional team of people who are driven and motivated to provide best patient care, improve patient outcomes, and save lives. And uh, also we have all the resources that we need to be able to achieve those goals. I think that's a great combination. So if you or your loved one were told to have a lung nodule, come to our lung nodule program.